it's fine. It's just me. I'm go back to sleep. Hey, I said it's fine. Stop squirming. What are you doing? Hey, stay here. If you shuffle off the duvet, you'll let all the warm leak out. Keep still. What? Well, I had a rough day, and I'm grumpy and cold, so I need someone to snuggle. What do you mean? It's only the two of us in this apartment, remember? So who else exactly am I supposed to snuggle with? Now keep still. I want to go to sleep. Oh, come on. All I wanted is some sympathy after the universe decided to serve me some extra fries with my shit sandwich of the day. So can you please stop being so difficult? What's even your problem? I'm not doing anything weird. I'm just wrapping my arms around you. Well, and nuzzling you a little. Why are you against it? I had a shower if that's what you're worried about. Yeah, but why else would you not want to snuggle with me? Do you have some sort of issue with me or something? Oh, and when exactly was I supposed to ask for your permission? You were asleep, remember? Oh, wow. Are you being serious right now? I'm sorry. This is just some perfectly platonic cuddling. I'm not groping you. So don't get your hopes up. Huh? Oh, cut it out, will you? I have to put my hand somewhere. Yeah, yeah, okay, not there. So then, further up or further down? Oh, wow, okay, I got it. Further up, sheesh. Calm down, don't wet your pants. Here, is that better? Then stop making a fuss already. Oh, come on. I know perfectly well that you're actually enjoying this. By the way that you gawk at me, you've probably been fantasizing about cuddling with me since I first moved in with you. Am I right? So don't give me that. I know you're always pretty defensive about being touched, but I really need some snuggles right now. And you'd get some back rubs out of this. A classic win-win if you ask me. So shut up and let me cuddle you. What? No, I'm not sniffing your hair. Creep. I'm, uh, uh, just making sure that you shower before I decide whether or not to cuddle you any further. I certainly don't like the smell of your hair. You smell alright. Acceptable, that's all. No, oh, seriously now. Can you please cut it out? I was late for work. My boss was a bitch to me today. I worked two hours overtime, and I still have a fucking truckload of work in my inbox that actually isn't even mine. It's just that all my coworkers are lazy bastards who play dumb whenever a problem pops up. The bakery was out of my favorite pastries, and my dinner was yesterday's casserole. Microwaved. I had a really, really shitty day. I'm frustrated. I'm tired and my feet are cold. I don't have the nerve anymore to deal with your complaints. I just want to snuggle up to something warm and fall asleep. So can you please stop bitching around and keep still? And if I could put my hands on your shirt, that'd be really great too. Why do you even sleep with a shirt on in the first place? I had hoped that I could... Never mind. Oh, are you still going on about this? You should count yourself lucky. There's probably a ton of other people out there who'd be willing to do anything to be my little spoon. You're in a really privileged position right now, don't you know? You don't get cuddles like these every day, so stop complaining already. Of course you have to. You're my roommate. It's in the statute of a roommate ship. Right below the article that says... Do not use the toiletries without asking. What? Yeah, of course I would. 
If you ever had a really shitty day, I hereby give you permission to come to my bed and snuggle up to me. Actually, your day doesn't even have to be all that bad. Maybe if you're just a little stressed out, you can come over for a snuggle. Or if you just kind of feel like cuddling, you could... No, I don't like you. How'd you get that idea, creep? Again, it's just the two of us in this apartment, so I simply have no other options. That's all. I've been running low on cuddles now since I don't even know when, and every now and then I simply need a hug or some ruffling my hair or whatever. You know, to recharge my comfort batteries. Physical affection is really important for one's mental well-being, don't you know? So, with your rude refusal to cuddle me, you are actively sabotaging my mental health. Do you want me to be mentally unwell? Do you? No, I can't ask my other friends. Are you crazy? I can't just go walking around and asking people for hugs. Because then everyone would immediately go, Oh, look at that cute, dainty, fragile little guy. He needs some hugs. Maybe we should also give him a teddy bear and a security blanket. And we shouldn't let him do any of the difficult, important jobs, lest we overstrain his wee little brain. And that's why I've decided to cuddle with you. Because you are my only roommate, so I don't need to worry about anyone walking in on us. Plus, you're such a wimp that you definitely won't tell anybody that I came in your bedroom to cuddle you. So, you're simply the obvious choice. You're convenient, like microwave pizza. And this has nothing to do with me liking you or anything. Why did you ask, though? Do you, um, like me? Hey, don't change the subject now. After all, you started this. You know, if there's anything you wanted to confess to me, I wouldn't be all that against it. So, go ahead and get some guts and finally confess to me. Hey, don't go huh on me now. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Confess to me already about how essentially forever now you've had the biggest crush on me and how you always fantasize about me and how you always get jealous when I see you with others. Um, I mean, when you see me with others. D yeah, y d uh, stop distracting me. Yes, you are. You're distracting me by being warm and cuddly. Oh, for real now? Can't you just shut up? I'm really tired. I just want to go to sleep. Can't you just let me have this? Just a little spooning and nuzzling and stroking your... Um... Where do I have my hands right now? Your chest. Do you really not like this? I mean, I know I'm not always the most amiable roommate. But I thought at least my cuddles would be something we could both agree were nice. Do you not like them? Oh, really? <laughs> Excellent. And we can do this all night if you want. I certainly don't mind. Hey, um, Rumi? You know how earlier I said that these cuddles were purely platonic? Yeah, um, you see... The thing is, they don't have to be all that platonic if you don't want to, I mean. What do you mean, what do I mean? Are you dense? I'm trying to explain to you that I l um, that I do like you a tiny bit. More than just a roommate. And that's why I want to have more than a roommate cuddles with you. No, that doesn't mean you can be the big spoon. I don't care if you're taller than me. I have the bigger ego, and my ego wants to wrap its arms around you and nuzzle into your nape. So be quiet already and go back to sleep. No, we don't need to talk about anything. We can do that tomorrow. Right now, I'm tired and just want to cuddle. I'm not squeezing you too tightly, am I? God, um, can I maybe put my hands under your shirt now? Or you could just take that shirt off. That would be even bet. Oh, I could put them under. Mm -hmm. 
Excellent. I knew we'd come to an agreement. So, are you comfy like this? Perfect. Then, good night and sweet dreams, darling. No, no, I didn't call you darling. You must have misheard. Now, shut up and go to sleep, darling. <laughs>